Hi guys, hope you are well. Welcome to the Best Chef Awards. I am Christian. My name is Gianna. Uh, we have a live talk today with uh, Chef Vladimir Muki of uh, the White in Moscow. So, direct from Moscow, where Christian will try to reach him, I will tell you something more about Vladimir Mukin. So, a fifth generation cook, uh, he began his career at 12 years old in the kitchen of the restaurant where his father worked. He trained at uh, Le Baron in France, El Celeb de Can Roca in Spain, before opening White Rabbit Restaurant. In 2017, uh, he founded ICRA, first Russian international gastronomy festival, and the same year he started in Netflix hit document series Chef's Table. Vladimir is a real ambassador of new Russian cuisine. He combines tradition and modernity. Waiting for Vladimir to pick up the live. Hi. Hi guys. Hello, guys. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Hello. Amazing. Thank you. Great. Great. Work, working hard. Yeah. Anytime. So that's good. That's really good, especially nowadays. I think that uh, that uh, being busy is very important. This is very good. It is. It is. Yes. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello from uh, sunny Moscow now. So it's uh, beautiful weather. It's maybe 15 uh, outside uh, degrees. Uh, nice with a Sunday. So I'm sitting in the, my father's houses now. So uh, in the forest. So anytime. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So I spent uh, I, yesterday thinking, oh, maybe I go to my father. Yes, I go to him and uh, bring, bring him some meat and uh, also all day talking. But, uh, you know, it's a crazy time as well. So uh, in uh, Russia, it's the uh, biggest problem now. So, you know, it's like we, everyone called it like black swan situation. Like uh, no one know what will be in the, the end of April. We are closed. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think uh, we need to be strong together, keep together. And uh, that's why thank you so much for inviting me to uh, this stream, because this is uh, my chance to talk with the people. Yeah, because uh, usually we working a lot and uh, focus on uh, our uh, things. But uh, now, yes, we have some times. But, you know, I'm uh, super busy from nine in the morning <laughs> till till like three, always till till three in the morning yes and uh you know mm. wow well, it's uh so exactly what are you doing right now because as you said uh, uh normally all restaurants are closed because of the pandemia but uh why are you then that busy right now i uh, listen uh unfortunately government doesn't help us nothing mm -hmm. and uh that's why uh I and my partner Boris Zarkov. So we are, we are at 28 of March. We are closed 23 restaurants because we have no have not just the White Rabbit. We have White Rabbit family. It's uh, 23 restaurants, uh, not, uh, 18 wow. restaurants in Moscow, and seven restaurants in uh, in uh, south of Russia, and one in uh, Kazakhstan, one more in Kazakhstan. So. It's a uh, huge, it's around 5,000 people yes, as working at our system. And uh, first of all, we, uh, at 28th of March, we, uh, every closed, every restaurant is closed because it's not possible to uh, use restaurants for the cooking and uh, sell the food. And, uh, but uh, every, the, our, you know, the government tell us, the president, uh, now we are on the holidays. This is super, super. This is super strange. Yeah, we have. Uh, yeah. So it means they. Uh, if it's holidays, it's uh, you don't need the money. You need to just sitting at house, and uh, but uh, mm -hmm. if you're sitting for two days, okay, week, uh, two weeks, mm. okay. Yeah. But when when you're sitting in months, 
And with now with uh, everyone sitting at houses, no one going to the restaurants and the, the restaurants is closed till uh, 13 of April, everyone tell us, but we're thinking that it uh, will be uh, in the middle of the June, the situation is uh, better, but uh, no one know. And uh, of course, I, uh, at 28th of uh, March, when we close it, we start to go to zero with the stuff. We, uh, everyone going to uh, holiday days for free. Every uh, part of our, some part of our team understand us. Uh, we also keep uh, maybe 70% uh, our stuff with us. Try to pay someone. We try to understand what we're going to do without restaurants. We make delivery service now and uh, we're working for delivery. So we closed everything after this. We start to open one by one. So we, I write the menu for delivery because all restaurants uh, is the like, uh, you know, it's uh, fine dining and it's fine dining is not possible to, yeah, delivery. Uh, that's why I so use the whole, uh, uh, the, the whole uh, white rabbit family. All restaurants are like fine dining, or uh, some of them are a bit more like uh, um, normal ones, it, not fine it's dining. A, it's 50 50, I think. 50 50, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, now we thinking that we need to open uh, every one restaurant, every restaurant for delivery. So I write the delivery service. We uh, make. Uh, a lot of things like Garinich, we have the biggest uh, Garinich restaurant, so we cook it for delivery. Sakhalin also is the seafood. The meat restaurant for Garinich, the seafood, it's a Sakhalin restaurant open for delivery. Uh, also, we thinking about black, uh, about the dark kitchen, and uh, we will call it dark rabbit, like dark rabbit mm -hmm. is, uh, will be in the future. Yeah. And the next uh, is like, you know, the alter ego of white rabbit. It's uh, yeah, everything. like exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's like everything inside, and we use a lot of uh, different uh, concepts together. And this is very good middle class of the food, uh, from the pizza till uh, sushi, and uh, also Russian cuisine and Georgian cuisine inside. And uh, for me, it's uh, quite important to thinking about the future. And the twenty nine of the March, I get up and thinking, okay, one, three years ago, I was in, uh, uh, in the San Francisco at uh, the uh, online bar. And it looks super strange. I was in Russia. I drinking, uh, it was the morning for Russia and of, uh, San Francisco, it was late night day, it's a dinner. Mm -hmm. And uh, the guys invite me to, uh, and they drinking the coffee in the morning and they drinking the wine, it was super strange. <laughs> and, uh, yes, and I think, okay, Let's uh, think about online restaurant. We have the delivery service and also it's possible. So I use the like uh, Zoom, you know, the online uh, conference mm -hmm. Zoom and we are making our platform for White Rabbit and uh, uh, organize it and uh, sitting like we are cooking the food, uh, make the degustation menu, a sale uh, to the guests. And uh, at eight, for example, we are together going online. Wow, it's mm -hmm. super cute. Every, yes. you know, it's like the customer super enjoy. It's like they sit in the houses, but uh, they uh, use beautiful dresses, the candles. They make the beautiful, uh, yes, atmosphere. Mm -hmm. They're sitting at the table. Look at me, uh, use the food. And we cooking together at the same time. And I show them uh, how, what we're going to do, the uh, situation. We're thinking about the future. We're talking about the food. We are uh, directly cooking the food uh, together. And this is super nice experience. And after that, we start to open one by one, one, one more, one more, one more dinner. Like we, uh, and now we like uh, two months, uh, booking two months before. So it's super uh, interesting. And uh, mm -hmm. also we have, I uh, think about the immunity at, immun immunity at uh, menu. It's like, I, uh, because everyone need the strong immunity now to win with the COVID-19. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. okay. I use uh, uh, 100 uh, ingredients uh, which you make us more strong and make the menu from that. And uh, it's, we sitting and uh, the customers also start to understand that the, the, after that I make the, the swan liver. Uh, it's always swan, uh, black swan uh, menu. It's about sustainable mm -hmm. because everyone now use a lot of uh, uh, the plastic box for delivery 
everyone use uh, fresh water for washing their hands and forget about uh, sustainable. And uh, this is the biggest problem. The next problem is the black swan, like a uh, situation which we uh, never can't imagine, yeah? And uh, we start to talk about that. Also, we start to working with the sustainable things, so also recycle, upcycle and everything. Right. And uh, also we uh, are thinking, you know, it's like if we're sitting at the same, like a different kind of, uh, uh, for example, apartments in different parts of the world, why we can't uh, cooking together? Because every time we're traveling around the world, I travel mm -hmm. like uh, five times per, per month, uh, usually, yes. And now, no, I can't. But I uh, call my friends, uh, like René Redzepi, Jorge Vallejo, Dominique Crean, Gagan, and uh, I tell brothers, let's, uh, sisters, let's uh, do something. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are chefs, we are providers of our cultural. And uh, some of them answer and, uh, you know, like, the chef, uh, Jorge Vallejo, for example, for example Quintan, Quintanil, uh, he uh, gave me the five recipes, Mexican, classical Mexican recipes. I cook in these uh, recipes for Russian customers. Also, uh, yeah. we go to Zoom together. And he's sitting the same time with me, and I cooking, and he talking about the gastronomy of the Mexican. And the, uh, we use, and this is super nice, because it's a twist. We use the Mexican uh, the recipes, but we learn as well Mexican recipes. It's incredible. Oh, that's and we, really, exactly. Yeah. That's interesting that it's not just yeah. that you do it together, but you also switch and switch so that you can learn something. Um, so it is, great. Yes. yes, and I also uh, cooking and the, the people, the customer, they uh, look like, looks like they're going to the Mexico. And uh, usually if you need to book the tables to, for these chefs, you need uh, half of year. But now it's possible, and the chef not in the sheet, you know, like on the kitchen every time. Mm -hmm. He's sitting and he can talk with you. It's incredible. It's mm -hmm. uh, one and a half hours without traveling. They're just sitting and uh, talking, and they sell us ingredients, we, uh, like the recipes we're cooking for them, and they're eating the Mexican food, and uh, for them it's, uh, it, wow. They, they never uh, did like that. And after that, uh, the next week, uh, I will cook in the third uh, third. Uh, at uh, the April, I was cooking uh, for Mexican people. Like uh, I cook, I cooking across uh, Jorge. So I give him five recipes, mm -hmm. and he cooking Russian recipes for Mexican um, uh, customers. And I also sitting and we talking. Wow! And you know, it's uh, like uh, like uh, Mexican music was influence, like atmosphere, of make atmosphere <laughs> online. Everyone super enjoy. We drinking mezcal. We use Chacatana, so we use, I, I remember a lot of things. So I've been uh, five times in Mexico. Also, Jorge helped me a lot. Thank you so much him, to him. So because every time we, we are super busy, like we're cooking for the doctors now. We're cooking for everyone. We uh, take care about our uh, team. And uh, this is very, very nice. Uh, this is very important, yes. And you are and, cooking for uh, the hospital uh, also, yeah. right? Yeah, we're cooking nice. one, 170 uh, courses uh, we, for 170 uh, doctors cooking every day. Yes, and uh, this is, uh, is not now our government uh, organized again. So it's uh, a big mm -hmm. company, Electrolux, they help me. I just ask them to help me to organize and they help me to organize. So they pay mm -hmm. for ingredients and uh, for the uh, very important for job to the chefs. Mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. and we... Yes, without, of course, uh, just the cost. We use just the cost and the cooking for the doctors uh, for free. Yes, and uh, this is very important now. And now, you know, we every day cooking uh, and we will do it till uh, the end of May. So two months every day. This yes, is this really is, great. This is yeah. super. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, th this is very important uh, because we can help each other. And uh, mm. yeah, it's, uh, yes, uh, and in Moscow the same. The situation in Moscow, every, every restaurant is closed now. The chefs are sitting, uh, the chefs sitting at uh, uh, the houses, someone trying to make delivery service because, for example, uh, we are in White Rabbit, uh, was, uh, don't, we are, wasn't ready for that because we uh, mm -hmm. never used the delivery, yes. But now we start to do, to do it. 
And uh, we uh, get some money and uh, for our stuff, everything what we do, uh, what we did, and we will, we will do, uh, it's uh, every mo- everything, all money we, uh, goes to uh, our team. So it's like, uh, so we use it uh, for, uh, take care mm-hmm. about them. Yes, it's very important. And uh, we, my partners also helped me with that. And uh, we are thinking about, yeah, like that. And how many deliveries uh, do you do um, per day, for example, right now with White Rabbit? Uh, uh, also, we every like uh, like 150 orders. Mm-hmm. It's okay. it's mm-hmm. uh, sometimes uh, near sometimes, for example, uh, near the holidays. It's super huge because the people stay uh, memory. They remember about the holidays uh, now, but mm-hmm. maybe in the future it will be every day like holidays, but maybe not. But <laughs> also, we, yes, uh, it's not like uh, very expensive because we use uh, this. We haven't uh, cost like in restaurants. It's cheaper, quite cheaper. Mm-hmm. And uh, we also, you know, the customers want to learn and we make uh, special like uh, see, uh, special things like uh, uh Smart cooking, so so it's like mm-hmm. some of it's like Lego. Uh, they bring you the box, and the, on a on a top you can see the uh, the photo of fire dining uh, dish, mm-hmm. and uh, okay. inside inside you can find the the ingredients which you prepare for you to cooking, and uh, and you can use your gadget for movie. Uh, you just mm-hmm. uh, QR code, you just use it for movie and uh, find. Uh, they are, you find the the recipe online and or video recipes for the customers and uh, you can use it and cooking with them and uh, together and also you can they have my telephone number there and they they can call me and uh, directly can call me. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You are really cool, Jules. Huh? Really yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because because it's uh it's very important to, to take care about that. It's uh, the, I think it's new service. Uh, you need to take care about everyone who get it. And uh, for for example, for start after that, of course, my sous chefs can do it. But first of all, you need to show everyone how you can use it. And mm-hmm. uh, this is another thing. Uh, we also use these techniques. And the dark rabbit is will be so it's a. Uh, the dark well rabbit will come in the middle of the May. I think uh, now we use uh, every day we make like in the first of May the super popular uh, in Russia super popular holidays like uh, for every mm-hmm. worker or every worker yes and yeah, uh, yeah we uh, holidays and we organize special barbecue service like uh, till now I write uh, till now it's uh, uh, yeah, I make it together with my team. It's like uh, something for barbecue. You can call and uh, all right and find salad uh, starters for you and you can get some uh, steak and uh, you can cook in steak uh, if you have the pan or barbecue at the houses, you can do it as well. Okay. Yes, and uh, together, together, uh, yes, we, 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 we start to learn about this service a lot. And this is very important to uh, hear and learn because and also the f- feedback. Uh, you need to find the feedback uh, from the customers and uh, working with that. Every day, one by one, we, uh, yeah, we're more stronger with that. But uh, anytime, and, yeah. And for the online dinners, uh, for how many uh, guests do you do it? And how can one participate in it? So it is uh, via your website or how does it work? Yes, you just uh, go to our website wrh.su, and uh, you can also get it uh, White Rabbit Home. It's uh, on my uh, page. You can find it in my Instagram, and you go there and just find the afisha. And uh, it's not just uh, me; it's cooking. Anatoly Kazakov from Selfie as well there. Uh, me cooking uh, from White Rabbit team. The another chefs also cooking their different kind of uh, uh, menu, and uh, you can find which you like. Also, you, you mm-hmm. can uh, you can uh, book it booked it uh, as uh, like uh, in the restaurant. And after that, uh, just uh, everyone uh, our uh, service uh, call you 
and uh, confirm. And after this, bring to you uh, the stuff uh, like a uh, delivery service. And after that, you use these uh, ingredients. And I also everyone uh, tag you and uh, help uh, everyone as well. So directly. Usually it's like uh, 20, it's around 20 customers, 20 people. It's, I think it's maximum, mm -hmm. but in a, because you need to uh, have feedback because it's online and everyone inside, mm -hmm. everyone see each other, to look at each other, listen to me. And they're talking about ingredients, about the idea. And we're talking with each other and uh, this is very nice. Also online communication is not always easy, yes, but uh, yeah. <laughs> and it's it's better to keep it small there, yeah, because it's like uh, you, yeah, like yeah, yes. Uh, but uh, now with the four chefs, uh, like of, of our company, such uh, have a dinner there, yes. And uh, it's much easier because the start was just with me, and uh, I need to uh, keep everyone everything uh, like that. But mm -hmm. now it's much easier, and uh, the chefs help me as well, and we start to build the new system. Uh, we don't know what will be in the, in, the, in the future, but we need to, to be more quiet, yeah? And uh, flexi flexible uh, for that. And we try, yeah. and we try. And yeah. how long does it last, uh, such dinner? Because uh, usually fine dining is like four or five hours, and here you cook it. So uh, it's also something different. So how, how long does it take to have this dinner, more or less? It's like uh, one and a half, maybe two hours, but uh, mm -hmm. it's de it depends of uh, team. It depends of customers as well, <laughs> because, because here, uh, mm -hmm. when you just talk, we just talk about the ingredients and cooking. Uh, here you can show, and you can also, for example, I switch on the, my bartender and he make the special cocktail for the dish, and uh, after that uh, he go he gone and they drink the cocktail, and it's uh, all, all online. You can show, for example, if you cook in the crab, you can show the, them to the boat, which uh, catch up the crab on the boat. Yes, <laughs> and we, and, and, okay. and we, yeah, and we did it. And I uh, just, just uh, tell, hey, hello, this is crab. I, I am catching this crab for you and everything from, from Kamchatka, from Kamchatka. Yes, because the main idea, the main idea, the my, my crazy idea is to find very, very far restaurants from, uh, for example, which you never go, like islands, mm -hmm. like, uh, uh, I don't know, Yucatan or south of Mexico, for Russia, it's too far, or Tokyo or somewhere, and which you never go, you can't go so far, yeah, because have no time mm -hmm. usually, or you, it's very expensive, but now it's possible, I just write the chefs uh, from Peridierka or somewhere, and, uh, and uh, ask them, can you switch on and talk uh, about your ingredients, about your histories. And they, they can do it, yes. And uh, now it's uh, much uh, easier and uh, cheaper. Yeah, yeah, you don't need <laughs> to pay the yes, uh, business class for very expensive uh, everything. Like, uh, you know, cheaper. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 you understand. Cheaper and it's more comfortable at the end, cheaper. yes. Okay. Exactly, you have everything. Yeah. It's, just, it's just one hour of your busy time. And that's mm. it. And of course, big uh, thank you to the chefs who answer us and uh, tell that they can, uh, like Gagan, like uh, Dominique Rehm, uh, Jorge Vallejo. So this is super thank you. And uh, we start to do it. And we did, yes. And uh, much, uh, a lot of people enjoy, a lot of. But usually it's uh, one and a half, yeah, if we, if we talk about mm -hmm. the time, not more. Because uh, you need to be focused. And uh, when you have... Uh, the chef table restaurants you're sitting and look at the view or atmosphere or, or the people but uh in the houses you just look at you you and your wife it's uh, yeah and you see you need to understand you're sitting at uh with your wife uh one and a half month of months yeah it's uh, sometimes it's quite <laughs> exactly. it's not easy it's not easy yeah it's not yeah. easy it's not easy, yes. But and, on uh, the other, but on the <laughs> other hand, it's a good chance to exactly put a, a nice dress uh, to do something like a bit different, a bit yeah. more like a short celebration, etc. Not like regular evening as usually, as exactly like for for one month uh, uh, already. So I think it's also a good idea to do something different, some different yeah, also, evening. 
Also, I'm thinking uh, that it's will working after the quarantine, I think. But uh, also it will be, yes, because it's much easier. You can talk with the people, you can show them the situation. And also the people can make the happy birthday like that or they meet each other. So this is, we will see. And this is very important because you can do the dinners at the same time, different dinners. It's like uh, mm -hmm. usually you, you use just one restaurant. Yeah, but now you can do uh, three dinners per day. It's okay because uh, it's, uh, it's can, it can be. And uh, now we okay. try to do it. Yes, it's uh, quite uh, popular in Russia now. And uh, I think it will be a look at the every uh, chefs who try to do the same. And, uh, and I think it's a, it will be a huge wave of uh, online service now. And I think okay. uh, the world uh, will be another different after. Yes, and we need yeah, to... Yeah, exactly. Be... And uh, how do you think uh, the industries of gastronomy, especially fine dining, will be afterwards? Because fine dining is something really, like, um, special. Uh, and exactly, uh, being uh, in restaurant, uh, you are there, like, five, six hours. is a long celebration. You have a lot of service there, etc., etc. So how do you think it will be afterwards? In the future. Uh, I think uh, it's uh, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe it will be, yeah, but uh, no one knows what's uh, happening. I, I think in, uh, that uh, the, most of the food uh, must be offline and food every time offline uh, because uh, you need to understand when you're eating the something. Uh, for example, I see my, uh, in the comments, uh, my uh, Konstantin Tokarev, he's my farmer, he Grow up the <laughs> ingredients. Uh, ingredients. You know. Yeah, yeah. Ingredients for me. And, and good job. Yeah, yeah. So you're eating the, the his tomatoes. And when you're eating mm -hmm. his tomatoes, you can't stop. And this is like a big history because his tomatoes sour and sweet. And he talked about these kind of seeds, which he, which he, he find in south of Russia or some, somewhere. And they grow up with his hands. This is very important. And uh, unfortunately, it's not possible to, uh, I mean, empathy, empathy, empathy. It's like empathy. It's your, empathy. You need to, yes, you need to work with that as well. And this is, you, we, uh, we need to remember about that. But uh, of course, it's, sometimes it's working. Now it's working because we have no chance. Uh, we can't sitting and crying, you know, we're chefs, we're strong. We need to do something for our team because, uh, you know, sometimes, uh, we are, uh, first of all, take care about our team because this is our family. I uh, spend a lot of time with uh, my guys and uh, I can't tell them uh, go out. It's uh, not possible. It's, uh, for me, mm -hmm. this is most important to keep them together. Uh, sometimes I can't, uh, we can't pay a lot, but uh, because no one help us, you know, and uh, our money, we have no, it's not like super uh, rich Russian guy sitting behind you. It's, yeah, we are chefs. Mm -hmm. we, every time we're in a sheet, but uh, we like it. This uh, this is our world. Yes. Hi, Isaac Carrera. Yes. Let's do something <laughs> together. Let's, let's do yeah, let's do so something can... together. This is a legend legend of Russian gastronomy as well. Isaac Carrera. He's okay. uh, he's did a lot for Russian guests. Yes. He was uh, starting at uh, uh, his time. In, uh, it's maybe in the, yeah so two hundreds in Russia. Wow, huge. He was super popular. Yes, and now, now as well, he's a great chef. So it's a big pleasure. I don't know where is he now, but uh, anytime. So, and uh, <laughs> yes, and uh, this is, a, you, ca you can more focus on the different things. Now we can sitting, we can learn, we can spend this time for learning. Uh, we can uh, also cook at, at the houses, thinking about the future menu, because uh, the menu in the, in the future, uh, in the restaurants, also in Russia, the menu must be very seasonal and uh, we need to understand because we never closed the restaurants before. And this is super yeah. interesting, ex right. super, super crazy mm -hmm. experience because, yeah, it's uh, because all customers, all farmers, all producers, so they all produce a lot of ingredients. Uh, they catch all the fish, they grab the meat. Mm -hmm. And now this everything stopped. Yes, and mm -hmm. we, need to, we need to work on it and try to find the, uh, the energy and also the money for them. And we need to uh, find 
uh, the way uh, to cooking as well because it's uh, because the chefs need to cooking you know every time you you yeah. can't stop you can't stop I every time cooking for my family uh, uh, the breakfast after breakfast the lunch after lunch <laughs> like uh, all day like yeah. six, <laughs> six times six times per, per day and uh, after that you know you know after the dinner online and after dinner online i have dinner for my kids as well so it's <laughs> it's a uh, it's a uh, yeah so you are super busy really See, right after, now <laughs> after big dieta yeah <laughs> yeah yes yeah. so after that we come uh yeah that's uh, but uh, of course it's another part of uh, the things uh, i uh, try to uh keep my uh, family together but uh, it's not easy as well and uh, now we're choosing uh they going to the village part because uh, it's the moscow is super massive yes massive city and you can't just sitting in the apartments with the two kids it's a uh, they can broke and everything it's uh, they have super power power <laughs> i can yeah. imagine that exactly they're full of energy yeah. so closing that in an apartment uh, must be really heavy and uh, very tough for you especially yeah 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 so this is uh, yeah this is but now we're choosing and i stay working and uh, making new uh, our new projects uh, and we, it's quite a lot also job uh, so and also we make uh, like uh, some uh, like with you or, or online something and uh, it's mm -hmm. uh it's not easy yeah now i'm talking with you but my my father grilled the meat and after that i will eat it together with the glass of wine yes because we <laughs> also need to need to thinking about our parents and our family yeah. as well and also help them because we have also the we take care about the our customers to take care about our team also about the doctors and the hospitals and now we need to talk about our Yes, the grandmothers and grandfathers, because sometimes they haven't uh, the time to go to the. Also, it's not possible in Russia. If you're six plus, sixty plus, you can't go out. You can't mm -hmm. because the police police stop you and uh, you need to go back. So mm -hmm. like that, it's cra crazy. Yes, and uh, mm -hmm. like super, in Italy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's super strong like in, in Russia. Italy. Yes, it's super strong in also Russia. In Italy. And, yeah. Yes, you can't uh, remove uh, from your apartments without passport and without your special code oh, and uh, they okay. give you and they give you this code uh, just twice per week yes and oh, you okay need, so it's even yes. limited uh, how many yeah, yeah. times you can yeah. go out also, okay. also you can you, you also you can't go out from moscow uh, by car you need to uh, also write about that before and uh, uh, and the, of course you can find a lot of things like yeah so uh, for example i am a, a uh yes the make like make delivery service yeah so i use mm -hmm. also delivery service uh, and use it so i can go somewhere yes uh, but uh mm -hmm. sometimes you, you need to thinking about about, about the situation and uh, it's better uh, safe and sitting at the houses as well of course uh, because mm -hmm. uh they yes because uh we did we, we in moscow every see everything just in the start i think we now uh like uh we have no space in the ho the ho hospitals now for the people uh, as well mm -hmm. but it's not the uh, higher highest i think it's but also the biggest in russia biggest uh, financial uh, crisis now so with the oil with yeah. the rubble with the money wow it's uh, crazy yes Notice. and uh, yes the, also we we have, if you remember, we have we still have embargo five years before, and uh, we can't buy something, mm -hmm. nothing from a different different countries. We are also now, and uh, we need to grow up. And now, if you want to grow up, we need to ask in the uh, our uh, the farmers if they s look at us now. Please uh, grow up ingredients for us. This is much important uh, things now. We need to thinking about the future, and we need to grow up ingredients, and we need to work with uh, with something. And uh, and they, of course, uh, today I get uh, uh, fresh radish uh, and uh, some uh, tomatoes from our my friends, and uh, this is a uh, this is super nice They're, because we are working together hand by hand, and uh, don't forget about uh, the people and farmers as well because they need also yeah. to help now a lot of help. Yeah, definitely. And I think exactly it's very important to support, especially right now, uh, smaller, uh, like this family, a small um, 
producer, farmers, uh, producers, mm-hmm. suppliers, because it's like a chain. They depend on us, mm-hmm. we depend on them. So it's like uh, we, are, we need to be all together. So especially in terms of smaller companies, I think yeah, it's yeah. very important to, to, to support them right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree with you. So we need to, yeah, we need to talk with them. Uh, we, uh, you, you, every chef can spend uh, one hour at his days to talk with them, and uh, it's quite enough, I think. And uh, we need to uh, write the menu now. You need to thinking about the future, and uh, you need to thinking about your ingredients uh, which you need, and uh, after that, start to work with that. Stop. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yes. Great. Yeah, uh, I saw some uh, questions also in between from uh, from our audience. Someone asked, uh, "What is Russian cuisine?" Uh, difficult uh, question. Uh, Vladimir Putin. <laughs> Vladimir Putin. <Mookie. laughs> <laughs> is the Russian cuisine you're in? <laughs> Guys, I uh, uh, very uh, we will do the uh, we will do the book. Uh, it will be in the future. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Uh, for about Russian cuisine, it will be on English as well, and uh, we're, work- we're working on it now. Uh, it will be uh, something about uh, my idea about Russian cuisine, but it's I can't answer you for five minutes. You need to because Russia is super cute, <laughs> and also you need to you know uh, you need to know about uh, the time. It's like uh, the uh, cuisine is like time machine. You need to go to. Uh, from 12th century, the Russian cuisine changing. So, so it's, first of all, it was the uh, ter- even terrible. He uh, organized uh, special cities uh, like uh, big port for uh, everyone come to get ingredients there. Arhangelsk, the name of city, Arhangelsk. Mm-hmm. After that, uh, the Peter Great opened the window for Russian to Europe, and uh, we start to. Uh, bring a lot of stuff from Europe to Russia and, uh, and no one know if uh, the Peter opened the uh, window to Asia, what will be, yeah, in Russia. But uh, mm-hmm. uh, we also use a lot of things from Europe and uh, Ekaterina second, the another um, uh, uh, yes, queen, so she uh, invite a lot of French chefs to uh, to use uh, Russian ingredients and to grow up uh, the kitchen as well. And uh, after that Soviet Union period come and uh, kill everything. Like, like uh, they kill Russian taste, kill Russian, uh, and everything, everyone thinking. Now the Russian gastronomy is uh, fat, no seasonally, and uh, very expensive, like caviar or mm-hmm. crab. or yeah, mm-hmm. Yes, lobsters, yeah. crab, <laughs> and caviar, yes. And, yeah. and vodka. Vodka. Yeah. Look, yeah, have yes. your lobster vodka. Yeah. Yes, exactly. This, but but, <laughs> but this that's is yeah, but this is guys. This is stereotypes about stereotypes about Russian cuisine, and uh, that's why I'm leave. That's my uh, my job is uh, to broken this stereotype and uh, tell tell everyone that Russian cuisine beautiful. The Russian cuisine seasonal. That, Russian to show cuisine that very, it's something different and more. Yes, the Russian cuisine. High, super, high yeah. yeah, it is super fresh. So and uh, it's no not easy to. I can talk about like. Uh, Russian black bread, but I do know bread since from 1812, uh, after the war with Napoleon. Uh, it's uh, uh, I can talk about the salty cucumbers, uh, with, which very popular mm. now in Russia. Like uh, how we can cook the black caviar, and we use a lot of different kind of caviar. Mm. The eggs of the fish, white, red, uh, uh, the black, a lot of pike, zander caviar, so a lot of things. Also, we mm-hmm. have the one beautiful week with the uh, pancakes. It's a uh, pancakes oh. week. Yeah, we called it Maslinsa. When every, it is? Every, everyone thinking that we eat a lot of pancakes all the all time, but no, we're just mm-hmm. eating these pancakes uh, one week uh, uh, before the, uh, the great land. Also, the Russian uh, people uh, have a full land. So we uh, can, uh, it's like uh, around 140 days uh, where we can't eat meat. And we can't eat fish. We're eating just the vegetables. Yes, and uh, no one will know about that as well. And uh, we're also uh, working on it. Uh, I think in the I prefer that uh, uh, flexita- flexitarian. And now, uh, like flexitarian, is like flex and the vegetarian. So uh, mm-hmm. more most important uh, now in Russia. And uh, I prefer 
of course eat meat but uh, your meat need uh, need very good quality so now yeah. we uh, you know we have some good meat from uh, Voronezh, uh, like prime beef, uh, incredible uh, meat. Uh, we have very good uh, farmers. We're working in the right tribe now. We're working with the 12 far different farmers who grow up ingredients for us. Uh, and uh, we're talking with them every autumn uh, before uh, next uh, month, next season. And uh, also use this uh, system, yeah. But the uh, Russian cuisine, it's a huge answer. Uh, mm -hmm. you, you need to come to my restaurant I can uh, cooking for you and you can understand <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely so that you can show exactly uh, us and all our uh, viewers uh, what is really Russian cuisine yeah exactly we need to go and visit your restaurant uh, that's for beautiful sure beautiful well, yeah, I yes. used to think Russian had too many holidays to be drunk but now I know it's about the food first yeah I think also. Thank you, thank you so much, Isaac. Yes, uh, this is a uh, he, he, he something you know about Russian cuisine. Yeah, uh, <laughs> this this guy, and uh, you know it's it's uh, quite important, uh, and we uh, need to understand that Russian cuisine uh, it's a huge cultural, it's a huge mm -hmm. cultural thousand uh, years, thousands. It's a uh, huge cultural and. Uh, yeah, I also can't answer you 100% because I now I'm working on it and uh, I travel inside mm -hmm. of Russia to find a lot of things. Every time when I travel some, in some cities, I find a lot of things. And after this, I come back and uh, learn, learn, learn. So this is, uh, wow. The, uh, you can go to the Vologda city on, uh, on north of Russia and uh, spend some time with the black monks. Uh, with mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's like... Uh, yeah, yes, and uh, using uh, just the vegetables uh, for cooking because they never use uh, the fish as well. So the black monks never eating the fish, no meat, of course. And they mm -hmm. just use the vegetables. This is very interesting. Also, how we can uh, cook the bread in Russian wooden stove. Mm -hmm. Also, a lot of Russian techniques, very important. This is a good uh, question. Mm -hmm. What is main Russian dish? Original Borsh. Russian. Borsh. Mm. Borsch, like Borsch. like in Poland. Yeah, in oh, Poland yeah. we have also borscht. Mm -hmm. well, yes, but uh, we we have di uh, we have uh, fifteen different borscht uh, after Soviet Union period. But Russian borscht is, is but Russian borscht is green. Yes, oh, without, it's green. Yes, without beetroot. The real Russian borscht is green. We use use mm -hmm. the nettle nettle. And now this huge season of this, oh. we use the nettle for this uh, for this borscht. Yeah, mm -hmm. so this is a. Uh, and uh, red, red more uh, Polish or, or Ukraine, yes, it's like uh, you use a lot of cabbage, yes, and uh, different kind of cabbage, uh, fermented mm -hmm. cabbage sometimes and everything, yeah. I know about that as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we use a lot of it. Okay. And another question we have from, from uh, our viewers, uh, who, uh, what do you think is the future of food industry? So you partially responded that exactly you think it will be more online and more um, digital, but uh, can you add something more? How do you imagine it will be in the future? Uh, yes, I think in, uh, it's, uh, my, in the future we, we need to be more strong, uh, first of all, uh, together, yeah? And if, uh, and, uh, uh, we need to think about the food like uh, uh, the the healthy food. Yeah, thinking about the food which help us with the health, our with strong health. And uh, for me, this is a uh, very important uh, things which I work on on them now. And uh, uh, and of course, uh, we need to uh, understand uh, and uh, thinking what we have now. Because if you, well, we need to think about the future, we need to understand what we're going to do now. And after this, mm -hmm. we need to uh, think about what we did. And after that, you know, we need to understand what we're going to do. Yes, uh, the, easy. Yes, but the answer is mm -hmm. easy. But uh, sometimes you need to know what you're going to do now. Because sometimes you didn't. Yes, and, uh, but I think it, we need to, now we have the, the good time for uh, learn, for 
cooking, for okay. thinking, thinking about the past, uh, thinking about the future, and uh, change our life. So it uh, can be, it's possible. And uh, please uh, take care about your family, about your staff. Uh, don't forget about uh, them and uh, try to understand if they have some questions. Sometimes we need to answer. And no one know about this, yeah, about this. But uh, yeah. so it's you, you know, you not understand. Don't understand, huh? Yeah. Someone did, yeah. don't do not mix the Georgian great dishes. The Georgian with great. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah no, no. White Rabbit is the best restaurant in Moscow. Another comment. Not just in Moscow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no, yeah. I, I would just add in also not just in Moscow <laughs> and not just yeah. in Russia. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Of course, uh, because uh, someone comes just now and uh, didn't uh, tell about Russian cuisine. You can uh, you can learn, guys. It's a uh, the, my teacher uh, for, for art, he told me, if I have uh, some questions for uh, the sum of paint or some art, you need to go to mm -hmm. learn. Uh, if, you, yeah. if you ask and, uh, and he tell you back the information, you never uh, understand. You need to go mm -hmm. and learn. When you go to learn about yeah. Russian cuisine, you understand. On yourself, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. So, uh, In practice, yeah. then better even. Yeah. Exactly, so that you, you see yeah. it. Mm -hmm. and, and now the time. Mm. Yeah, exactly. It's a positive, I think it's uh, the positive aspect of uh, the situation right now that we have a lot of time uh, and exactly a lot of time to learn something, to, to read a lot, to watch things, etc., etc. So let's use this time to, to gain new knowledge, to learn something more, to, to begin new project because it's, yeah, you can do a lot of things online. You can... We have internet right now. We have different uh, possibilities right now. So it's, yeah, we cannot travel, but still we can exactly meet as we are meeting right now each other. So that's, yeah. let's use it in a positive way. It is. Yes, let's, let's do it. And, uh, yeah, and, and find the inspiration, guys. My inspiration is uh, products. Uh, my inspiration is the people. And uh, my dad, my kids, my uh, supplies, <laughs> my team. Thank you, everyone, uh, who take care about me, who take care about uh, Russian cuisine, who take care about uh, White Rabbit, and uh, let's uh, do it together. Super. We will do it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for your Thank time. You. Thank, Thank you, you so Vladimir. Much, Enjoy you. right now your free time. Uh, yeah, and, father, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, gr greetings for your father and thank you very much uh, for, for this meeting and thank you for your work, especially for the hospital, uh, for uh, all um, staff there, etc. So thank you for, for your work. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you, Vladimir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have bye -bye. a nice evening still. So guys, thank you so much for following us and uh, Stay positive, stay safe. Everything will be coming back again. Positive. And see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow at yeah. 5 p.m. Central European time. Our special guest will be Manu Bufara, uh, directly from uh, Brazil. So we will change the side of the world. Um, see you then uh, and have a nice evening still or morning. Thank you for, for following us. The interview with Vladimir Mukin will be soon available on our Instagram and on Facebook. Thank you again. Thank you, guys. Bye. Stay positive. Bye-bye.